Hello, it's Phoebe Garnsworthy here. I'm a spiritual author and meditation teacher. And today I want to show you how to use my best-selling book, Daily Rituals. So, in Daily Rituals, we explore how to create your own ritual space. And then I provide you with the tools to create your own ritual. So to create a ritual, we need three things. We need our space to, to symbolize that a ritual is taking place. We need our intention. And in my book, this is through a form of an affirmation. And then we need an action. And an action can be anything. So for you to create your own ritual, you can do anything for your action. And in my book, I use journaling prompts and an actual physical exercise. So let's begin. To create your ritual, we need four things. We need something to represent earth energy, something to represent air energy, water energy, fire energy. And then there's a fifth thing, which is something to represent spirit energy, which is you. So to symbolize my items, I have put them here on a little plate. And this is the ease of creating your own ritual. You can do it anywhere. You could keep it in a little box and then you pull it out and you spend time doing it. Or I actually have an actual altar that I set up and I put things on the altar and I sit there and I meditate and honor my soul. And that's the purpose of you having a, a sacred space. It's to honor your soul. So let's begin. I'm going to go through a few of the items that I have here. I have so I have a candle for fire energy and to me I start this by signaling that the ritual space is opened and as I move through the different elements, I say a prayer to them. I give them their blessings and I give gratitude for their presence. So I have a candle to represent fire energy. Fire symbolizes transformation, protection, strength. I have a little jar of water to symbolize water energy. Water is to nurture your emotional side. It's to remind you to flow with the ease of life. I have a, um, a stick of uh, sage to represent air energy and I also have some bells. Air energy provides us with clarity, it provides us with a great bigger perspective over our life path. And then I have some crystals for earth energy. Earth is very nurturing, grounding and it provides stability. And then I have a little angel to represent spirit energy. So spirit energy is, the spirit lies at the core of every single living thing in the universe. So it can represent that and then it can also represent your soul. So you want to just gather a few things to represent these items and I go more detail, actually I go a lot more in detail about them in my Align With Soul book. We really dive in deep about rituals and, and how to harness it and all the different energies. But let's keep it simple for daily rituals today. So once you gather your items together, you're then going to move through. So now I'm just gonna show you as if I was going through it and we'll open it up and we'll follow through and we'll see what today we get. Okay, so I'm going to ring my bells just to symbolize it's opened, the space is opened. I call upon the energy of fire. Come forth and illuminate the pathway so that I may step into my greatest self. I call upon the energy of water. May you provide me with deep ease as I flow fluidly through my life. I call upon the energy of earth. Keep me grounded 
as I walk my life path with confidence. And I call upon the energy of air. Help me open my heart to see things differently. And my spiritual self, my ancestors, spirit guides, grandfather, son, grandmother, moon, come forth and provide me with any messages that I need to know today. And the space is now open. Let's see what today brings. So you want to just open it up at random. Oh, we got a good one. I let go of my fears and trust that all is okay. And it's very relevant, especially at this time of our life. There is so much fear circulating the world. And we have to just let them go, not talk into them, surrender them and realize that the divine power of the universe is going to steer you in the right direction. Let's just stay aligned with our higher self so that we can move through our life path with ease. Okay, let's read the definition. There is nothing to be feared in this world. Fear is only the repercussion of misunderstanding. Whenever you feel the thoughts of fear creep into your subconscious, ask yourself why it is there. What is it here to teach you? Face the fear, feel the emotion, accept the lesson, then let go and move on. Try to look at fear with the mind frame of giving it love. Perhaps the fear revolves around a problem that lacks information. By changing the way we perceive our fears, we are able to create our experience and expectation. The exercise. Ask yourself, what is it that I fear today? Listen carefully to the answer. Ask yourself, how can you better understand the root of the fear? Where does the insecurity lie? What lack of understanding does it need to know? And can love solve this problem? Hold the fear tightly and tell it, I love myself. I trust that my higher self is guiding me and that this fear cannot hurt me. All will be okay. Then release this thought, never to enter your mind again. Your journaling exercise. As per the above, ask yourself what it is that you fear and write it down. Address the issue directly at hand by writing yourself a letter. Tell yourself why this fear is irrelevant and turn it around into an optimistic viewpoint. By reviewing the issues in a positive light, you will identify the old fear and this new thought pattern and the fear will quickly diminish thereafter. Okay, that was our little extract. If you enjoy this, let's do some more. Wishing you the most beautiful day. I'm going to sit here with my circle and I'm going to meditate and enjoy life. And when you're finished, close it down, thanking the different energies. And if there's any particular messages that you wish to hear from your higher self or your spirit guides today, this is the space that you do it. This is your moment of connecting to the spirit world. So what do you wish to know? Until next time. Bye.